Hi guys, today we are going to try on invisible pantyhose. See, I always thought that invisible pantyhose should be the staple of everyone's wardrobe. However, as it turns out, not only they are much less common than I thought, they are not even that well known. So, in case this is the first time you hear of them, let me introduce them to you. So, first things first, what exactly are invisible pantyhose? Well, unlike traditional pantyhose, Invisible pantyhose are designed to give your legs a flawless, natural look. They provide light coverage and very natural sheen, making it seem like you're not wearing any hosiery at all. These pantyhose are perfect for those days when you want your legs to look smooth and evenly toned, without the obvious look of thickened islands. They are also especially great for either warmer weather or special occasions when you want to show off your legs while still having the perfect polished look. Alright, now let's take a look at my pantyhose from closer up and let's talk about different types of invisible hosiery. Not many people know that there are various thicknesses for invisible pantyhose. They come from about 5 then, then is what describes the thickness of the hosiery, all the way to 15 then. I'm going to show you 15 then. You see, they are still very sheer, however, they are much thicker than those I'm wearing. For an ultra sheer look, choose thickness of about 5 den all the way to 10 den. Now these are 8 because 5 den is rather hard to find. And this is what 10 would look like. You see, there is very little difference. Now let's talk about how to pick the right shape. You see, these pantyhose usually come in various kinds of colors and shades and tones and etc. However, what most people don't realize is that when you're picking your invisible pantyhose, you can't just pick the thinnest denier possible and they are gonna be invisible because they are not. You would probably think, I'm gonna pick the complexion that fits my legs, right? Well, that's not a completely bad idea. However, there is a trick. You see, instead of trying to match the complexion of your legs, try to match the complexion of your upper body because this is exactly what will create more of a cohesive look between your upper body and your legs and therefore make your pantyhose even less noticeable. As an example, on my face I usually use 50 sun protection, on my arms I use 30 and on my legs I use 15. That makes my legs much more tan than the rest of my body. Now, if I matched nylons to my legs, it would be about this color. That would be a good match for the complexion of my legs. However, as you can tell, that's not a good match for the rest of my body. So if I wore these pantyhose, that would create quite a contrasting look to the complexion on my arms. You see what I mean? Whereas if I wear these ones that match my arms pretty well, it looks much more cohesive. Now, you might be wondering, well, if you don't want your pantyhose to be noticeable, why don't you just go without them? And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you a side-by-side, -side, my legs with pantyhose and my without. Now, look at the difference. My legs with nylons look so smooth and toned. And I can only wish they'd look like that without, but they don't, so I wear invisible pantyhose. See, invisible pantyhose are incredibly versatile, whether you wear them with a cocktail dress, a business suit, or just casual shorts. They sort of add an extra touch of elegance. Plus, many of them come with extra added benefits like moisture wicking and cooling properties, which makes them really comfortable to wear for all day long. However, as with everything, there are a few things you should watch out for. Firstly, only buy invisible pantyhose from reputable brands. As we have mentioned previously, invisible pantyhose are some of the thinnest on the market. And as thinner the pantyhose, that's more delicate. And commonly, more delicate means much more prone to tearing. So only buy reputable brands. Don't buy the cheapest of the cheapest. Pay just a little bit extra so they last you longer. Second, if you're uncertain whether your nails have any snags on them, wear gloves while you put them on. And third, if you can, size up. If you size up, there is simply going to be more fabric to work with and you are much less likely to overstretch them and tear them. Alright, 
right guys, so now we have that and I think it's time for a stretch test. All right, I'm going to compare them with my darker pantyhose from H&M. So let's start. Okay, so the pantyhose from H&M are slightly more stretchy. However, I am pleasantly surprised with my Calcedonia Invisible Pantyhose. And that is because I am always very hesitant when it comes to buying nylons that are less than 15 then. And that is simply because of how much more prone to tearing they are. And my usual experience is not very good. However, I have to admit that these pantyhose from Calcedonia are actually quite excellent. Anyway, guys, whether you are a long time fan of invisible pantyhose or whether you are a newbie, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new. See you tomorrow!